Good evening. The United Nations Secretary General Kofi Annan has emerged as the best and probably the last hope of a negotiated settlement to the crisis in the Gulf. The Secretary General knew what was at stake. It was the difference between war and peace. He had really this responsibility, and the whole team felt that way. I think very rarely in your career at the UN do you have the impression that you can make that kind of difference. And we knew that thousands of people would have died. We knew that. Wait, but everybody will have a chance to... We never confirmed any media event. We said that we would prepare possibly for somebody to talk to you, okay? The, everybody is waiting for the story, big time. There was that moment of pure relief when he signaled that it was done. And then he took Elizabeth and myself and the young man who'd come as a note-taker, Neil Briscoe, into his private suite. And he said to us, I think we have made it. And I remember looking at him and saying, Mr. Secretary General, I'm proud of you. I remember the emotion we had. So I went out and I talked to our photographer. You remember John Isaac? Sure. And I said, John, we have made it. And he burst out crying. I recall when I was leaving Baghdad and Christian Almanpour of CNN interview and said, why you? You know, lots of envoys had been the Russians, the French, the uh, uh, head of Arab League. Why did you succeed and they did not? And I told her there are certain things in life one can never explain. So let's leave something to mystery.